The man sitting in the chariot and reading the book wants to know more about God. He is reading part of the Bible. He has stopped the horses and is talking to Philip. Philip is one of Jesus' disciples. The Holy Spirit told him to run over to the chariot and start talking to the man. He is telling the man what the Bible means. He is telling him about Jesus. Soon the man sitting in the chariot will be a Christian. This man's name is Paul. He doesn't like Christians. He would like to kill all of them or put them in jail. He is walking down the road trying to find some Christians to hurt. He thinks that all Christians are bad. He does not know that Jesus is God's son. Paul thinks God likes him to hurt Christians. But soon God will tell Paul to love Jesus and his people. Then Paul won't hurt them anymore. Here is another picture of Paul. While he was walking down the road, all of a sudden God started talking to him from heaven. He is telling Paul not to hurt the Christians anymore. He is saying, Paul, you too must become one of my friends. I am Jesus, and you must stop hurting me, and you must leave my people alone. Paul is very surprised and afraid and is asking Jesus what he wants him to do. Jesus tells him, and now Paul will always do whatever Jesus says. Who is this man in the basket? It is Paul. His friends are helping him to get away. Paul has been telling everyone about his new friend Jesus and how much he loves him. Paul doesn't hurt God's children anymore. The people who don't like God try to catch Paul, so his friends are helping him to run away. Paul is God's friend now, and he loves Jesus. Paul and Silas are in jail, but they don't care very much because they know that God loves them. They don't care what happens to them, so they have been singing. All of a sudden, a great earthquake shakes the jail and all of the doors swing open and the chains fall off their hands and feet so that they can run away. But they are not trying to run away. They are staying there and talking to the man who is supposed to keep them in jail. He is kneeling there, asking them what to do. They are telling him to believe on Jesus and he will be saved. on a boat and there is a great storm. Do you see the waves and how the ship is sinking? But God took care of Paul and all the people who were with him and none of them were hurt. They came through the water and got to the shore all right. Paul is standing there telling God, thank you for taking care of them. God loves Paul and God loves you.